What would you say if a stranger walked up to you on the street and asked you this? Any chance either of you would have a place for me to crash tonight? Most people would answer something along the lines of... Uh, no actually because... Well today we're asking strangers on the street of New York City if we can have a sleepover. <laughs> this is gonna be so difficult. <laughs> Welcome to New York City. In this video, we have a challenge to live two days in two very different ways. Day one, I will have a budget of only $25, including accommodation, transportation, food, and everything. But day two, I will have 500 US dollars to spend. Whew, this is gonna be interesting. Let's go have some fun. Hey, excuse me. Do you know a place I could stay tonight? Before we begin this challenge today, I just want to quickly explain why I'm doing this. So my friends Adam and Matt from the YouTube channel Thirst Lounge Travels have been sharing an amazing series called the Coin Flip Trip, where they travel to different cities around the world and they flip a coin to determine their budget. If it lands on high, they get to spend $500 each. But if it lands on low, they only have $25 each. So they reached out to me and challenged me to do something like this myself. So I'm putting my own little twist on it. That's why we're here in New York City. Two days in two ways. Today is day one. And day one, we have a budget of only $25. I think the biggest challenge today is finding accommodation. There is nowhere in New York City to stay for less than $25 a night. So my goal is to find a free place to stay. I have some strategies in mind where I can do this, but I think the most interesting will be approaching strangers here on the street and asking if I can sleep over. <laughs> this is gonna be interesting, let's go. Oh man, this, I don't even know, I don't even know how to start this. Oh boy, excuse me. Are you guys from New York? Do you need help? You want to help take a photo? Uh, yes, please. Sure. Thank you. I see you're doing some parkour over here. You seem like an interesting guy. Are you from around here? Hi, excuse me. Quick question for you. Yeah. I see you have a dog. Most yes. likely you live around here. Yes. True? Yes. I'm doing an interesting challenge today. I have two days in New York City in two very different ways. Uh, my second day, I have a budget of $500 to spend. My first day, I only have $25 to spend. And obviously in New York City, accommodation is very expensive. So my biggest challenge is to find someone to host <laughs> me and find a place to stay. Is there any chance you or anyone you would know would be willing to? Okay, no worries. Thank you so much. Good luck though. Thank you. Yeah, wasn't expecting that to be a yes. I know it's a crazy question, but I'm a little crazy. Sorry. No? All right, no worries. Have fun with your parkour. I'm sorry, we don't have any extra space. No worries. Thank you. Have a good day. You don't actually I'll get oh. All right. Yeah, we'll no worries. In a hours. No worries. Thank you. Have a good day. Oh man, this is awkward. <laughs> All right, so we just failed miserably in Central Park, <laughs> but it's still a great place to come, completely free. So let's move to our next location, find somewhere else to go. It's either a 43 minute walk or a 15 minute subway ride, but it's still very early in the day, and I don't know if I want to spend my money yet on a subway, so I'm choosing to go with a 43 minute walk. Hey. We just arrived at our next location here called The Vessel at Hudson Yards. This is one of the newest and most popular tourist attractions in New York City, and it's essentially a beautiful art piece staircase that you can climb all the way to the top. Quick travel tip for you, you do need to reserve a ticket if you come here. It's completely free, but you need to reserve it ahead of time. Unfortunately, we didn't do that, so there's no tickets available right now, so we're not gonna be able to go to the top, but I'll leave a link in the description if you plan on coming here, check it out for yourself. So right next to the vessel is this place called the High Line. It used to be an old railroad track that they refurbished and turned into a nice walking path. So we're currently on the High Line right now. It's a beautiful walkway, and I'm gonna give it a shot. Let's go ask some people if I could sleep over. Any uh, preference of orientation or what you're looking for? All right, cool, hold on. I wanna get the street in the back too. Are you, any of you from the city? No, no? I'm actually from Texas. Oh, cool, are you staying around here though? 
Yeah, yeah, we're yeah, singing yeah. in the city. Excuse me, question for you. Are you from around here? <laughs> yeah. Are you, are you from around here by any chance? Uh, yeah. I love your hair. Thank you. I'm currently doing a pretty interesting challenge. It's called Two Days, Two Ways, where I live two days in New York City in two different ways. I know you guys aren't from here, but any chance anyone would be willing to let me crash somewhere? No, I, we don't really have space. Yeah. yeah. No worries. No worries at all. We're leaving today. Yeah. So all right. We already checked out and stuff. Cool. <laughs> would you have any availability to maybe let me crash at your place tonight? So I mean, normally I wouldn't mind, but my roommate's already got his family over. Uh, so all right. The living room's already taken. Uh, all right. And it's just me and a regular like small room. All right. No worries. It's worth a shot. The more yeah. people I ask, the more the better my chances. But hey, right. no problem, man. Thank cool. you. Tomorrow is my $500 day, so ideally I want to get someone to host me, do something nice for me today, yeah. and then take someone with me tomorrow to spend $500. Well, yeah. subscribe, yeah. like, follow, cool. all the above. All your <laughs> yeah, awesome. Thank you so much. So, unfortunately, no luck here at the High Line or the Vessel, so we're going to switch locations. Our next spot is Washington Square Park, and it's right near NYU, so maybe I can meet some university students and have some luck that way. And it's also not too close from here. So we're gonna have to take a subway and use money for the first time. We still haven't spent any money yet. And also I'm really hungry. So hopefully we can find some cheap food and find a place to stay. So you can't come to New York City without trying a New York slice of pizza. And very fortunately for me, there are plenty of places around Manhattan that you could find dollar slices. And right behind me here, we found one. Boom. Thank you. Thank you. Cool, they have a deal here. You get two cheese slices and a drink for $3. Pretty good. I haven't eaten anything yet. This is my first food of the day. Oh, it's delicious. New York pizza is the best pizza in the world. So while we have some time, I'm gonna hop on um, Couchsurfing. If you've never heard of Couchsurfing, this is a website and an app to connect travelers with people who are willing to host them for free. So I'm gonna hop on the Couchsurfing app, send out some messages to hosts, and see if we can maybe find a place to stay that way. So where we want to go next, we have to take a subway. And to get on the subway, we have to buy a Metro card. Actually, the Metro card itself costs a dollar. I'm most likely going to take the Metro a couple times today. So I'm going to load up 650 worth of Metro tickets. <laughs> made it to Washington Square Park. This is one of the most popular places in the city to hang out. You'll always hear live music and street performers and people selling beautiful art pieces. This is just a great place to come and chill. This is also a pretty nice spot to take a free nap under this piano. <laughs> and uh, this guy comes to this park all the time and to get the best sound and actually feel it, he lets people lay underneath the piano like this. By the way, I'm here with my two friends today that I haven't showed you. Can you guys introduce yourself? I'm Tom. And... And I'm uh, Steve's friend. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Malcolm. And I'm also Steve's friend. <laughs> <laughs> I've known these two guys since I was like six years old. We met in kindergarten. That's crazy. Yep. And they both live in New York City and they're helping me film this episode today. But. Part of my rule is I can't stay with anyone I already know. So I'm not allowed to stay with them. But thank you guys so much for helping me. Also go follow both of them on Instagram right now. Boom, chakalaka. Link in the description below. Yeah, <laughs> you got it. All right, let's get back to asking strangers for sleepovers. Woo. What are you interviewing people about? So I'm asking people about their dreams and their goals. Ooh, okay. So yeah, do you have any that I, you'd like to share? I absolutely do. I have some very interesting goals actually happening today. So I'm currently experiencing a travel challenge called Two Days, Two Ways. So these two ways are two different ways of budgets. For one day, I have a budget of $500 to go out and enjoy the city and do cool things, but that's not until tomorrow. So today, my budget is only $25. So the biggest challenge is finding a place to stay. So any chance any one of you would be able to either host me or know someone who would be able to let me crash at their place tonight. Jake, you know that coke addicted lunatic whose father <laughs> owns an apartment? Dude, he does drugs, but like they're fun. There we go. Some great yeah. advice from these guys right here. R.I.P. Kobe Bryant. <laughs> right. 
Anyone you would know by any chance that would Dude. offer a place to stay? Love the idea. Yeah. Love the idea. Okay. If, so I, if I didn't have roommates, I'd be down with it. Yeah. But but, but your roommates would not be cool with that. One, one, of, one of the roommates, and he's, he's a little iffy. Yeah. All like, right. Shit, nah, we live in dorms. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. All good. You go to NYU? Yeah. Ah, cool. All right. Well, worth a shot. Yeah. Good luck. Thanks. <laughs> thanks. Actually, because don't leave uh, home. Okay. Tomorrow. If you don't find someone today, you you're gonna have to find someone that you like swear. wants you to come over at night, right? Like like a girl or something. Right? Well, that can be an option. Like, yeah, like you if you're like bar, you're at yeah. the end of the night, you're like, God, well, I don't have anywhere to stay. So, but this girl's cute. And <laughs> go somewhere. Yeah, just, you gotta pull up, pull some checks. Exactly. Right? It could. That's that's another possibility. <laughs> they were nice about it. Everyone's just like, what the hell? This is such a crazy request. Hey, can I sleep over tonight? What? <laughs> Are you staying around here? Uh, I am, yeah, just like downtown somewhere. So my goal is to find a stranger that's kind enough to take me in and let me crash anywhere, <laughs> literally on the floor, whatever. Any okay. chance you or anyone you know would have a, a place for me to crash tonight? I might have space. Really? I'll have to check. Okay. Uh, yeah, do you have a, like, Can I get your numbers? contact? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Amazing. What's your name? Luke. Steve. Steve. Nice, nice to meet you, Luke. Uh, where'd you say you were from? Uh, UK. UK. But, uh, over here from San Francisco at the moment. Very cool. Yeah. You're here for business? Yeah. What's What kind of business? Uh, so, found a way to grow crops in the ocean. So, we're creating like basically like the new form of agriculture. To have like ocean agriculture, like floating farms out in coastal regions. That's amazing. Uh, yeah, so. Do you, like, you know, you have $25 a day. Do you have food or anything? Like, can I get you anything? Or? I appreciate that. Uh, I actually still have like. <laughs> I, I only spent nine dollars so far. Oh, that's so yeah, and like one of the thing, like one of the aspects of the video is showing people that New York doesn't have to be expensive. Um, yeah, just drop me a message. For I'll sure. See what I can do. And, cool. Uh, you know. Thanks, man. No worries. Take care. It's very nice meeting you. Thanks. Wow, that wasn't a no. That wasn't a no. That was a strong maybe. His name was Luke. He's from the UK. He's currently here in New York City on business, and he was really interested in this idea. Could be potential. I got his number, he said to message him, and he also offered to buy me something too. But I still have money left over and really just looking for a place to stay. But wow, that was nice. That makes my heart feel warm. There's nice people out there. <laughs> All right, so something pretty cool just happened. I got a message back from a couch surfing host who is potentially willing to let me stay over tonight. So I'm gonna message Luke, I'm gonna message Cirabelle, and hopefully one of them will give me a place to stay tonight because it is getting dark and it is getting very cold very quickly. Check it out, I am inside. I found a place to stay, very nice, through couch surfing. I always recommend couch surfing. It's like the best way to travel. And meet Sarisha. Hey! <laughs> so if I can ask you one question. Mm -hmm. So what made you say yes when I sent you a request? Why were you willing to host me? I mean, I like house surfing. I like hosting surfing. I surf when I travel, so I like to host when I'm here. Cool. And I like to host people who are also active browsers, couch surfers. Exactly. Couch surfing is a cool community. I was hosting someone yesterday. Really? Yeah. Nice. Very thankful for you accepting my request. So well, thank you so much. You. Yeah. And so far, I've only spent $9. So, we'll go splurge the rest of it now. We can go splurge. <laughs> Apparently she was saying there's a couch surfing meetup tonight. Mm -hmm. And maybe we can go out, meet some more people, and have a good time. Yeah. Oh, I'm just super happy to be indoors. It's very cold out right now. But once again, thank you so much. You're the best. <laughs> and something also really awesome that just happened. I got a message from Luke, that guy I met in Washington Square Park. He said, hey dude, we met earlier in the park. If you're still looking for a place to stay, then I got you if you need it. How nice. This is a stranger that I just met in a park and he offered to host me tonight. So nice. Hopefully I can meet up with him tomorrow because he's a really interesting guy and he has founded an amazing business. They're trying to grow plants in the ocean. So I wanna learn more about that and maybe if it's a good cause, it can help spread some awareness of the initiative that he's working on. But tomorrow, I'm gonna hang out with him. So you'll see him tomorrow. Hey everybody! Hey! Hey! All right, 
So we had a lovely meetup with some couch surfers. And now we're going to a Yemen restaurant. Also, we did take an Uber to get here, but Siri was nice enough. She's very generous to pay for it. So I still have $9 left, I think. So I spent the rest of my $25 budget on some delicious Yemen food while having some intriguing conversations with these nice people I just met. It was a pretty great feeling sitting there realizing that not only did I accomplish my goal of spending a day in New York City with only $25, but I found a stranger to let me sleep over. This was such a unique day filled with meeting so many new and nice people. I truly believe that anything is possible if you work hard enough and ultimately ask enough people to help you out. There are so many incredibly nice people in this world and although not everybody may be willing to host a stranger, at least most people are nice enough to decline in a positive way. If you made it this far in the video, please click that like button. And if you are not already, please consider subscribing so you can join more adventures. In the next episode, I'm excited to bring you along where I spend $500 in New York City. <laughs> I messaged Luke today because I wanted to give back. You know, he offered something nice and I wanted to offer something nice to him today. I organized something very exciting and Luke has no idea where we're going. I just asked him to come with me. Um, <laughs> Any idea where we're going today? I have no, like literally no idea. <laughs> I just know it's like near you, New York maybe. Like, <laughs> I really have no idea. It's something I have never done before. Oh God. <laughs> and I'm very excited to do it. I'll see you in the next episode when I have $500 to spend. And also in the beginning of this video, I mentioned the reason I'm doing this is because I was challenged by my friends Adam and Matt from the coin flip trip. These episodes are live on YouTube right now. I'll leave a link in the description. Go check this out. And I'll end this video with a preview of the coin flip trip. Enjoy. It's the opportunity of a lifetime. Travel the world, all expenses paid. The only catch? A coin flip determines our fate in each new city. Flip low, and we may struggle to survive in the most expensive countries in the world with just $25 a day. Flip high, and we live like kings with 500. I'm Adam, and I starved for 39 days on a deserted island. I'm Matt, and I lived in my car for five years. But nothing can prepare us for a trip around the world left entirely up to chance. This is the coin flip trip.